Our last topic this session is on adding elements to a matrix. You can grow a matrix by concatenating, which is just a fancy way of saying joining. All right, let's switch over to MATLAB. Let's start by declaring a simple vector A equals one, two, three. And let's say we now want to add another element to the end of A, which is, has a value of four. Uh, we can do this by typing in A equals open square brackets, A space four. Now, before I run this command, notice that I'm assigning the output of this operation back to the variable A. Whenever you run an assignment operation, MATLAB evaluates the right side of the operation first, so this command is legal. Now let's run it. Notice that we now get the matrix A, which consists of the numbers 1 through 4. You can also use this command to add numbers to a column vector. So let's say A was a column vector with the values of 1, 2, 3. Right now, to add a fourth element, we can go a equals open square bracket a semicolon 4. Notice that adding the fourth element required us to use the semicolon since we want to add the value in a new row. Let's see what happens if we try to add an element using a space or comma. So we went a equals a comma 5. MATLAB throws an error instead. Dimensions of arrays being concatenated are not consistent. This is because we're trying to add a new column to a 3 by one matrix, but we're only supplying one number, and this doesn't result in a rectangular array. You can also concatenate matrices. So for example, let's declare two vectors, A equals 1, 2, 3, and B equals 4, 5, 6. We can now create a new vector C that combines both of them by using C equals open square brackets, A, semicolon B, close square bracket. Again, you have to make sure that the result of the concatenation is a rectangular matrix. So for example, if A was 1, 2, 3, 4 instead, then this command does not work. All right, finally, you can also use indexing to grow a matrix. So let's go back to our vector A. Let's say we now run the indexing operation a open parentheses 7 equals 7. Notice that a here only has four elements. What do you think will happen when we try to index the seventh element? Well, it turns out that MATLAB handles this by simply filling in the missing elements with zeros.